really dive into the archives a little bit here. Um, a fish that not a lot of guys have caught, I certainly haven't. Um, I think there are very few on the coast that have. Uh, the Libuetus, the triple tail. Uh, scientific name, Libuetus surinamensis. surinamensis. Um, very, very, very cool looking fish. They get their name triple tail from the, the anal and the, uh, the dorsal fin, so the top fin is extended right to the back and it actually looks like they've got three tails. That's where they get their name, triple tail. Um, prehistoric looking fish, very darky brown sort of color to them, very big strong scales. They actually look like they've been chiseled out of rock. They, they are very dark but, but, but strong looking fish. Um, their mouths are quite small for their size. They have very small eyes as well for their size. Um, the very interesting thing is the juveniles actually look like mangrove leaves. So when, they, when they're babies, when we're talking little guys like this, they, they're living in the estuaries and they actually drift around. They don't move themselves a lot. They've got a very small tail for when they are small. Um, and they actually just drift with the current and they look like leaves floating down. And this obviously helps with them not being predated on, not being eaten by the fish. Now, they are relatives of the rock cod, They're in the same, uh, same family, the Serenidae, and you're really going to find them in the shallow coastal waters. Now, for us here, you're looking at big river mouths and uh, big estuaries. So, estuary-wise, you're really only going to find them in Richards Bay. Um, that's more likely the juveniles. The the male, oh, the males, the adults that are going to be offshore, you're really looking at uh, Tugela River Mouth. That's probably where most of them are caught in South Africa, if not all of them. Um, across and abroad, they in America, they're very, very popular game fish. Um, the guys target them because they sit around structure. So any of your offshore buoys and things like that, they're going to go and target them, pitch little live baits to them, little, little plastic baits. Um, and it's a very popular fish over there because of the eating quality. They have amazingly tasty flesh. Um, having said that though, they are a very rare species on our side, so much, much better making someone else's day by letting it go, letting them catch it later on and they, they can release it and keep a chain going. They are a, a sluggish species. They're not big cruisers. They're not going to fly around and try and uh, hunt down prey. With their body structure and everything, he's going to sit nice and still near some structure of some sort. Um, and when prey comes past, he's going to pounce on it. So, quick burst of speed, grab the prey and then go back to his home. They, they spawn in summer, so that's really when you're going to be catching more of them. Um, this might be due to the water coming out the, our estuaries, maybe making it a little bit more turbid, but darker, so they're not as, e as easily seen. That's just the theory. Um, but that, it might be that that's what that triggers them to, to start breeding. Um, where we find them, as we mentioned, along the coast, if you actually want to target them, target them uh, Tugela River Mouth is really the only place I could recommend. Um, but they are found from East London North. So, yeah, really more of a North Coast species though. They are strong fighters for their size. Um, that big tail and the caudal, anal and dorsal fins really help them to be able to pull against you like that. They do get quite big. Um, maximum recorded size is just over a meter and recorded weight is on 20 kilos. So that's, it's, it's not a small fish. Um, most of the time you're going to get them around about that five kilo mark though. In terms of what they're going to eat, they eat most baits. They, they're actually quite, quite scavenger in nature. They prawns, fish, uh, the locals in Tugela actually catch them on uh, intestines from chickens, so it gives them their nickname chicken guts, um, not the locals, the fish. And it's, if you wanted to specifically target them, <laughs> virtually impossible, but you're going to have to just go to Tugela and just try. Put out a little live bait, put out other smaller baits and just hope for it. <laughs> it's one of those species you, you can't specifically target here in our country. Overseas, like I mentioned, they do. But yeah, yeah, it is extremely difficult, nigh on impossible. But yeah, if you are lucky enough to catch one, uh, take a picture, put him back, and make someone else's day. So yeah, guys, the triple tail, very, very interesting, and uh, worth having on your list. Cheers.